Hi everyone, this is Cherry Enchantress and this is Pixie Dust Tarot and I am doing your Daily Dust, which is a daily tarot reading for, this one is for December 1st, yay, if you're watching in real time, but it can be for whenever you stumble upon it. My idea though for this month of December is to work our way towards Christmas using silver and gold edge decks which I have some I don't think I have 30 days worth but we'll use as many as possible and maybe recycle them over and over again um, and maybe other metallic colored decks and then finally the Christmas deck that I have all right so one of the most beautiful silver edge decks is Doreen Virtue's fairy tarot It's very shiny. It's a very glassy kind of silver. So let's see what we got going for this day that either you stumbled upon or it is December 1st. What day of the week is that? It's Thursday. If you're watching, it depends too where you're watching. I think some of you, your December 1st might be on a Wednesday. <laughs> How oh, no, it's very confusing, but I feel very privileged and honored to have people from all over the world watch me. If you would like to comment in the comment section before uh, below, where are you from? I would be so excited to see, like how how many people from how many different places are watching. So hello from Texas of the United States, <laughs> Houston, Texas here. Okay, let's take off the top. Here we go, Five of Autumn. This is kind of a romantic card though. Look at the Five of Autumn. This is saying, reach out to others for assistance. Poor timing for career change. Feeling challenged by money issues. This is kind of, this is the Five of, of um, Coins or Pentacles. And it's like sort of the lift out in the cold energy. But I've also uh, often have seen this as like, somebody coming to you or you know coming towards you when you're feeling down or feeling blue and it was funny this morning I was just thinking there's you know there's always the you know the the rhyme to every season there's just always a right time to do things and there's sometimes not every day is the right day to do try something or do something and I was trying something this morning and it was just not working and I'm thinking you know what it's just not the right time but maybe later like I feel like some things that you're going to learn on this day that you've that you watch this is that maybe doing something during retrograde is not going to work maybe waiting until New, until January after the holidays it's going to work like um maybe it will be a better a better situation if you use it as your new year's resolution and that way the new year's resolution can can kind of give you more motivation to do this kind of thing so let's see what else you have the high priestess Trusting your intuition, careful reflection before taking action, insights that come through meditation. Yeah, I feel like your your higher wisdom is going to come through in this situation. And let's see what else. Woo, Prince of Summer, romantic, captivating, dramatic, flirtatious, falling in love suddenly, being swept off your feet, the need to stay grounded during a very emotional experience. Okay, let's zoom on in. Let me meditate on it a little bit more and see what else comes up. All right, let's let's look at these images. So for the five, so first of all, it's autumn. So it could be something that that you're going through right now. Often when we read the cards, we're reading them right to left. Generally, the left, the right, the left side is okay. The left to right, <laughs> the left side has to do with things that are already happening or passing out of your situation. And since we're autumn going into into winter, if you're watching in real time 
or if you're in the southern hemisphere you could be stumbling upon this at a different time i'm just saying like look at that tiny little fairy it's like there that's an observer and then this boy is a fairy boy and the lady is a fairy lady and she's giving him some bread I feel like this is a great opportunity and since we have a child here like to donate to toys for tots things like that so I feel like you know this kind of gives me six of Pentacles energy it's like sometimes you're in a giving position and sometimes you're in a receiving position and you know if you're in the receiving position then it just means you need to be humble and and admit that you you know may need to ask for assistance if you're in a giving position then it just means you realize hey I'm abundant and maybe I should spread the joy a little bit to the less fortunate so yeah but I also you know if you're feeling left out in the cold or you if you're you literally feel cold <laughs> um oh i something that i saw on tv was um it was an ad for kind for socks and underwear um a brand but the brand i can't remember their name but the brand said for every pair of socks you buy from us we'll donate a, a a slightly used pair of socks or whatever and this is supposedly um, the most the most highly uh, sought after thing in for homeless shelters and donation things are our socks and I was thinking yeah I got a lot of socks you know <laughs> things like that you just sometimes you just don't think of these things you know you if you if you even get to the point of wanting to clear your drawers out then when you get that far then you're like what do I do with this but that's an idea there so I just feel like giving from a place of generosity of giving from your heart can really open things up there's going to be a lot of insight coming to you this day. And you know what I, I get from this sometimes is when, you, when you're on the right track or you do something right or you connect with something or like if you have a, if you do a job like this, if you're a tarot reader and you say something that seems profound and right, Sometimes you get goosebumps. Sometimes you get like a sign, a definite sign. Like I, what I get is I get tingles and I feel this is this feels right. What I just said feels, you know, like honest and true and something that will connect with somebody. And so I feel like the high priestess my energy means that you're going to get something on this day that that just get, makes you feel like, oh, yeah, OK, this is great. Like I I feel good about this. Now, ugh, <laughs> the Prince of Summer, like, what is he doing here? Oh, my God. So this is a, a nice little curve, a, light, a little, somebody might be observing you, seeing how, you know what, when I, one of my very, okay, so my very first love of my life was this boy, I was 16, and I think I fell in love with him because he was being nice to somebody. He was he was not so much giving someone a loaf of bread, but he was there. Uh, one of our coworkers came in with her little kid, her baby, and I saw him playing with the baby, and that just melted my heart. So there could be this kind of dynamic. Um, somebody loves you for for who you are, like really, really on the inside. They love your your intuition. They love your they love your this energy that you have. You are kind of goddess-like energy to them. They love this giving, caring soul that you have inside you. Whenever some, you know, for the less fortunate anybody, so that just that just makes them kind of swoon and get all happy for you <laughs> when you're around. So yeah, I think this could be somebody admiring you admiring your your good deeds and admiring your beauty and your and i'm, I'm not talking about just outward beauty because could, this person's really able to see your inner beauty shine outwards so i like that so i hope you like that too and whoever this is it could be somebody you know it could be your boyfriend or a girlfriend it could be somebody you don't even know it could be somebody coming into your life 
and I hope it makes you happy because you deserve it. I feel like you really deserve somebody very kind and sweet as you are. All right, <laughs> faith test and pixie dust. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!